What if Squishmallows and Animal Crossing collabed? Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, I'm so excited to be doing a collab with some amazing creators to create a Squishmallows build. We are all building an area based off of the bio of our favorite Squishmallow. So first off, I wanna tell you all of the amazing people that I am collaborating with today. Lex Play, Tiger, EJ Plays, Sienna Crossing, Angela and Donnie, A Clumsy Pumpkin, Bewick, Corey Dune, Kate Colleen, The Amanda Files, and The Artsy Gamer. Be sure to go and check out all of their videos after you watch this one to see what they create for their favorite Squishmallow. It'll all be linked for you in a playlist down in the description. But let's go ahead and jump into my build for today. And my favorite Squishmallow is the lovely Bigfoot Benny. I think he is so adorable, I love everything about him, and I want to collect him in every single size that he comes in. I'm going to go ahead and read out his bio to you. It says, Benny is a Bigfoot and one of the smartest creatures in the woods. He loves to run and play with his pals in the forest and beyond. When he's not running around, you can often find him taking photographs with woodland friends. I just think that bio is so cute too. So. I decided to do my build on Happy Home Paradise today, and I chose this specific plot of land because I liked all the cedar trees around it, and also I thought it was funny that it was stew here. Artsy, this one's for you. So my thought process going into this, I wanted it to feel obviously very wooded, but I didn't just want to have trees everywhere. So I knew that I wanted to have at least one area that was kind of different it had kind of a seating area something along those lines and i really wanted to embrace the aspect that he likes to do photography with his woodland pals i think that's just adorable so i did decide to place a lot of trees on this plot i also wanted to change out the housing exterior to something a little more neutral i wanted to stay in those beige and brown tones to kind of match Benny overall, so that's what I decided to do. I will say it was pretty challenging just in general. I struggle with Happy Home Paradise because I always forget the buttons, I don't know what I'm doing, and <laughs> for some reason, for most of this build, the menu wasn't there, and so I was clicking on the wrong buttons the entire time. And I didn't realize that I just had to hit the minus button to turn it on so I knew which buttons to press. So I figure that out in a little bit and then it makes it a lot easier and I'm not misclicking all the time. I also spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get rid of this fence in the front and I had kind of accepted that I wasn't going to be able to get rid of it, but I do eventually figure out that you can remove the fencing. So after I've got most of the trees and everything placed, I decided to just collect a few items that I wanted to put out here. I started off with the log table, the camera, and then I'm just kind of placing a bunch of different woodsy feeling items. I also saw the sloppy sofa and I really thought that would be cute out here. I don't know, Benny gives me sloppy vibes, right? I mean, he's kind of disheveled looking in a very cute way. So I decided to go with the sloppy sofa and then I'm just kind of rearranging things. So I'm going to let y'all watch me fiddle with this a little bit and then I'll come back and talk some more about what I'm doing.
Okay, so I think I have the seating area sorted for the most part. I really like the camera. I decided that I want to add some party lights back there just to give it an element of height that's different from a tree. I think that's one thing I really struggled with with this build because I didn't really add anything super tall. I think I was just so focused on trying to add a bunch of trees and make those look right that I forgot to even consider anything tall. But I think the party lights do a good job of adding something, just that little extra something, you know what I mean? I also decided to do a lot of plank pathing here, mainly because I wanted it to feel really rustic and really embrace that outdoor feel, but also because I didn't have any pathing to work with here. I had the in-game paths, obviously, but I'm really stuck to the custom codes that I have on my fairy tale island because that's the only island that I'm far enough in Happy Home Paradise to make this work and to make it worth it. So I had to use what I had and this is what I decided to go with. Now while I'm messing around with all of this tree placement, adding in some bushes and flowers, I want to know who is your favorite Squishmallow? Who is your number one? If you could only have one Squishmallow, who would it be? I would also love to know who is your number one in search of Squishmallow. Mine is Ham, specifically the sage green version of Ham. He's like a cute alligator. He's adorable. I had a store close to me who had him come in stock, but he was really just too big and really expensive and I didn't want to pay for him. But if I ever find like a 12 inch version of him, he is my number one in search of at the moment. So let me know who yours is down in the comments below. I love talking about Squishmallows, so it's definitely, <laughs> let's talk about them. All right, so at this point, I'm kind of just adding in some finishing touches, trying to figure out if there's anything else that I wanna add. I did add in a barrel, another thing to add some height. I decided to throw Stu behind the house because I was tired of looking at him. <laughs> so I put him back there so I could finish filling this up and I kind of just go crazy with these tall weeds as well, but I like the way they looked like overgrown grass. I actually really like this version of the weeds. So added in a bunch of those and we're about to complete this build. And here we are with the final product. This is my build for Vinny the Bigfoot Squishmallow. I can totally imagine Vinny living here and just enjoying his little log cabin in the woods with his camera over there. I, I like the way this build turned out. I mean, it's not the most fantastic thing I've ever created, but I really think it suits Vinny and I would love to know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much again to all of the creators in this collab for letting me join you. This was so much fun. Definitely be sure to go and check out all of their videos as well. Like I said, I will have all of their information linked down in the description. Be sure and go check them out. I hope you enjoyed this Squishmallow build video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.